Nuclear medicine. Sounds scary, right? I mean, that's the same nuclear you find in nuclear reactors and nuclear weapons. While it does make use of the same atomic processes, nuclear medicine is a safe and effective way of diagnosing and treating a wide range of conditions. As a diagnostic tool, nuclear medicine takes the form of radioactive chemicals called radionuclides, which are combined with molecules whose behavior within the human body is known. This combination is called a tracer, and it can be administered orally or intravenously. The cool thing is that once tracers are in the body, they tend to migrate towards specific organs or specific lesions, like tumors or bone infections, and they're giving off a signal that can be detected outside the body. Let's say a doctor was concerned about her patient's lungs. After administering an appropriate tracer, she uses a special gamma camera, which can see radioactivity to take photographs of the patient's chest. Because gamma radioactivity passes through human tissue, these photographs show how the tracer has accumulated in the lungs, and this gives the doctor valuable information for diagnosing conditions like pulmonary embolism. Sometimes the gamma cameras are able to move around and take photographs from different angles, which can then be combined to make a full 3D model of your insides. Dozens of different tracer chemicals exist, all with characteristic behaviors. Some accumulate in bone tissue, others make for the thyroid. Still others head for the heart. All of them provide useful diagnostic data without resorting to invasive interventions like biopsy, endoscopy, or surgery. And while nuclear medicine's chief use is still in diagnostics, it can also be used to treat many conditions, including thyroid cancer and blood disorders. Okay, so it's pretty damn handy. But just how safe is it? Well, nuclear medicine is strong stuff but experts have established a stringent code for minimizing the risk to patients. Exposure to radioactivity must be ALAR, which stands for as low as reasonably practicable. This means that patients are given as small an amount of radionuclide as possible, as long as it's still enough to provide a useful diagnostic or clinical result. The gamma radiation used in diagnostic nuclear medicine is not very powerful, but it travels pretty far, which is why it can pass through the body and reach the cameras. Nuclear medicine therapy uses ionizing radiation, which is much stronger but can't get very far before it's absorbed by bodily tissue. So it can do its job on a problem area, but leave nearby organs unharmed. Huh. And that's nuclear medicine. How tiny atoms can make a big difference to your health.